Okay, so now the transmission is dropped. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch last week's video of me dropping the transmission on the 370Z. So now we are onto the thing that we are actually replacing, which is the clutch and the flywheel and the pressure plate, just a whole clutch kit and the CSC and the clutch master cylinder. These are all the parts we are installing today. So from the top, we've got the clutch master cylinder. I just got a heavy duty clutch master cylinder from HFM parts. I am installing new shifter springs. The CSC, I've got a heavy duty Tilton billet CSC. I got a clutch kit from Z1 Motorsports. Pretty sure I got the stage two or the street one. I can't remember. One of them, I bought this in like 2020 or something like that. So yeah, it's been a hot minute since I've had this. So I've got a medium weight flywheel this is 19 pounds single mass flywheel and that's a nice pressure plate there i'll be putting up like pictures and stuff of bolt patterns and torque specs just so you guys know what like details you need okay so this is the pressure plate we got to take off first so we need to take this off in a particular pattern and put it back on a particular pattern. So I will put up on the screen here what the bolt pattern is. Before we fully take it off, put the alignment tool into the clutch just so the clutch doesn't just fall off. I'm very, very interested to see what the clutch looks like. 13 years I haven't changed this. If you're excited to see what the clutch looks like after 13 years, press that subscribe button down below and like button. Make sure you guys keep these bolts because we will be reusing them for the new pressure plate. Alright, so I'm just going to put my alignment tool straight into the clutch. The pressure plate, just make sure you have a hold of it. All right, now this should come out. Oh my gosh. This clutch is like, oh my gosh. So this here is the state of my old clutch. I can't believe this held for 13 years. This is the state of my pressure plate. I mean, it held up good. So now onto the flywheel and so you've got seven T55 Torx bolts. Take that off. This flywheel will probably spin. So what you can do is actually rig this up like a bolt on the flywheel and uh, one of the transmission bolts and then put a spanner in between them that should hold it from spinning. This should come out. Come on. Almost out. Oh my gosh. Whew. Wow, this is heavy. Oh my gosh. Let's take a look at all the parts that we just took out. Now this pilot bushing here, it's almost out. Flywheel, clutch, and pressure plate is out. I need to show you guys this pilot bushing because um, this is kind of scary. <laughs> they usually flush. This is my pilot bushing right there. I could just take this out by hand as if I bought a pilot bearing puller I didn't even need it now I don't know why this was half out so this is what the back of the engine looks like now I was looking around and I do have an oil leak that's right here so this here is the pilot bushing so many cracks all around that's pretty hectic so it was lucky that I actually changed it now because if not, this would have gone out. So this is the stock dual mass flywheel. As you can see, it's oh, super thick. This actually isn't too bad for 13 years. Obviously, it's not great. I can definitely say I got money's worth out of this stock clutch. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and put in the new clutch kit and then we'll move on to the CSC and the master cylinder and then 
tie this thing together, new fluid, all that. The one thing you want to do is just get some brake cleaner and then just spray it onto your flywheel because there's usually oil on these, stop these from rusting. Okay, so to reinstall this, you need your new pilot bushing. To seat it first is to hold it there and then just grab a hammer and then just lightly tap it in. When it's actually seated in, grab a socket that fits this size and then use that to level it in into, into that actual seat in there. Let's go. Seat this in properly. Next thing is putting the flywheel back on. There is a alignment pin on the crankshaft. So align that with the alignment hole on the flywheel, if that makes sense. On the flywheel, you should have a extra kind of hole where the alignment pin goes. Just line it up with the alignment pin on the crankshaft. Perfect. So that's all aligned and in so now it's time to put the flywheel bolts back in so i am using some blue loctite hand tighten it for now all of them are just hand tightened i'll put the photo of the bolt pattern and also the torque specs for the flywheel on the screen here just so you guys can screenshot that and use that All the flywheel bolts are torqued and loctited and they're good so so i did end up using the bolt method to lock the flywheel in so i just use one of the side bell housing bolts i'm just going to do a final clean of the surface and then we'll put on the new clutch and the pressure plate there's two sides of this right so one is kind of extruded <laughs> i guess and the other side is like flat so you want the flat side to go against the flywheel to put your alignment tool in so just push out all the way in really really nice pressure plate I love the red. If you have a look at the flywheel, there's these alignment pins on the flywheel as well. Again, line up the alignment pins to the alignment holes on the pressure plate. I'm just going to hand tighten all the bolts, then torque them up. You have to do two passes with different torque specs. I'll put them up on the screen here. Big, big problem. Big problem. <laughs> I was almost done. Normally people would not show this on videos, but this is just the reality of working on cars and having a feeling that something isn't right, but you keep going, that feeling turned out to be right. What I'm talking about right now, <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm crying inside. <laughs> so the last thing we were doing was talking the pressure plate bolts, right? The torque wrench is set at 11 foot pounds. I don't know if you can focus, but this is what happened. Yep, you guessed it. Snap bolt straight into the flywheel. I don't even know how I'm going to get this out. Might have to take the flywheel to a machine shop. This is my first ever snapped bolt and it had to be this job i did have this feeling this feels so tight for 11 foot pounds i don't know what's happening one more like turn and it was just bop, snapped and i was like oh you gotta be joking i can't believe this is happening right now ever snapped bolt and of course it was a damn clutch job all right so we got the flywheel on the floor 
with half a bolt stuck in. We're on the way to a engineering shop just to drop off this flywheel just so he can work on it and work on getting the bolt out. The progress that we made today was all a raise. It's fun. <laughs> I'm not as upset as I thought I would be. Going to head to this guy's place. He has his own engineering business called Mavs Engineering. So I messaged him like 20 minutes ago and I was like, can you please help me out? <laughs> yeah, I just need this bolt out. And I was like, yep, yeah, bring it down. I'm about to finish up, but just leave it with me and I'll take care of it. It's a Saturday, so I didn't really expect anything to get done today or like this weekend, but. All right, so we got the broken start out. A big, big, big shout out to Mavs Engineering. He got it out in like two seconds. I know this lighting is really bad. If you need any fab work done, service work done, go to Mavs Engineering. I'll put his thing in the video right now and in the description. He's helped me out so much just then. I'm on my way home and this Merc is about to die. Okay, hopefully I'll make it home. I know this video has been like all over the place, but what a day this has been. The Merc is about to die. I snapped my first bolt. And so I need to focus on trying to get home. So, okay, I'll see you guys in the garage when I get to the garage. Okay, see you guys soon. The flywheel is back in the box until I get new bolts for it. I just ordered some. Let's move on and let's do the CSC. This is the CSC we are changing out. It's not too hard to change. One bolt there, one bolt on top, and then on the outside of the transmission, we gotta unbolt a bracket and everything should pretty much come out. On the outside here, there's the bleeder line and the bracket that holds the bleeder line down. There's a black bit here that has a pin on top and that's what is holding it in. So I'm just going to take that pin out. So it's like a spring clip type deal. So now we can just take this old CSC off and now the whole line can just come out of that slot just like that. With these ports here, you're going to face it towards the hole where the lines will run through. Bolt these in. The longer line is the clutch line and the shorter one is the bleed line. Surely it's going in. Hey, it's going in. Yay. Okay, so the next line is this bleeder line. This one right here. This goes on the top port. Everything is pretty much plumbed in into the body there. This is the plate that they gave us for the dust boot or to replace the dust boot. It uses the same bolt as the OEM bleeder thingy. All right, so now we got the master cylinder to take off. Now you gotta go into the engine bay and also under the steering wheel where the clutch pedal is to get this master cylinder out. And so we have to take off this reservoir here and then this hose here that connects to the master cylinder that's down right in there. Top here, there is a hose clamp right there that is holding the hose to the reservoir. Just gotta take this hose clamp off, just slide it to the side. This right here is the clutch line on top right there. That's where the hose sits. Let's try to take this one off. Now that's disconnected. In the car, this is the clutch pedal here. I don't know if I can show you. So that's holding in the master cylinder to the actual pedal. So it's just that split pin. There's one bolt right there 
and the other bolt is like up there somewhere. There's two nuts at the back there that you gotta take off. Pretty sure they're 12 mil. What a mission, oh my gosh. The master cylinder, now this should just come out. All right, be good to me. Woo. This here is the new master cylinder, old master cylinder. Not too bad. Okay, let's chuck this in. All right, so everything's pretty much in, master cylinder is in. I just need to put the transmission in and also the clutch when I get the new pressure plate bolts. That's how you change the clutch on the 370Z. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and my mistakes and everything like that. For me and my 370Z, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, please click that like and subscribe button down below. It will help me out so, so much. It will help the channel out. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys for watching the video. Love you guys. Take care. See you in the next video. Peace.